Just take the squeeze down. Squash XL Pro is an elite team that work hard to train, play and run squash events on our journey to climb the world rankings. Like, subscribe, comment, pick up some of our merch on Teespring. Alright ladies and gents, we are locked in here in Palmerston North at the Squash Gym PSA Satellite in the west coast of Auckland, not Auckland, the North Island, New Zealand. We got the final, men's final, um, the two brothers, Luamba and Tiamai Chalisi. I am Joel Ascot, joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Van der Sam, um, who finished third in this tournament. So you know these boys pretty well. I'm going to put you on the spot straight away. What's your prediction? What's the score? Who's going to win? I don't know. Um, I think I'll go with Rod Bannister's uh, call before. It was Louis and four, and I'm. Ooh, Ooh, that's oh, good. Oh. That's real good. It's always safe going for four. Four sets, you know. It's yeah, a bit yeah. Of a, bit of a cop out. But. I don't know, it could be interesting. Tim, uh, um, they played a couple of weeks ago up in Auckland. Yep. And uh, Tim, uh, yeah, Tim uh, Henderson he, Satellite, yep. That's the one. And Tim uh, snuck in in five, so. Yeah. Um, and he's actually probably, uh, you know, improving quite a lot. Yeah, for last, sure. Uh, six months, so. So, Louis coming off the back of a huge national champs where he narrowly lost out to. Um, e Dub Evan Williams, 11-8 in the fifth in that uh, one, finishing second. Um, congrats to Evans on that one. But but yeah, Louis sort of not folded, but just maybe a bit gassed out after that Nationals and um, underperformed against his, his brother two weeks ago in Henderson. So he'll be out for revenge um, in this encounter. So what can we expect from, um, from these two lads? Do they get into it as brothers? What do you uh, they'll think? Be, they'll be, uh, oh, I've never actually seen them play, to be honest, in a proper game. But really? They're both very fair players, so that, that'll be an easy game to ref. There won't be any. Yeah, true. Pretty clean. Too much contention. But uh, I was just going to say, I feel like Timba has got a little bit more of a, a bit between his teeth in these early yep. opening rallies. Yeah. Well, he's 3 1 down, so I don't know what you're seeing, but I. Sort of agree. I mean, he he's, he's actually he's coming in the fresher of the two, isn't he? Uh, you know, got off pretty. Oh, pretty, Louis had a pretty, massive semi-final. So huge semi-final. He'll be probably a little bit yeah, up against yourself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some local some local chopper played. Amateur, he doesn't play very much. Yeah, yeah not yeah, even yeah. registered pro. Chopper pilot, chopper pilot. There you go. Out. But no, yeah. Tim was very very quick off the mark. The man's got a decent pair of calves on him, so um, putting a spring in the legs for the panda we call him. But th this is the last last tournament of the season for the lads, so there'd be a few loose arms out there, and you know, a bit of bragging rights for the next few months on the line as well. It's nice hitting. It's very hard to read on that forehand, as Tim Ma. Look at these behind you. And yeah. you were trying in front, looking back. It just, um, I don't know, I, I anyway have no idea where he's hitting it. <laughs> yeah, he's certainly got like a, a natural kind of hold and a swing on that forehand. He just seems to have like, he can play kind of every shot, Tim Ma, can't he? I mean, as brothers, you know, they both are like oh. polar opposites, you know. You can see Louis more of like a 400 meter runner build. Tim was more of a sprinter, powerlifter. Tim has got a few shots. Louis more of a grinder. You know what I mean? Like they just Louis. Well, Louis got blonde here as well. <laughs> Put that one in there. Earrings now as well. So he's, he's yeah, very different. That is very true. A little bit of bling after the Nats finish, eh? Spinners winnings all the way. Spinners winnings, <laughs> classic. So for a bit of insight for the viewers. How's the court playing, in your mind? Yeah, I loved it. I yeah? Had a great time out there. It's, um, yeah, you were pretty on form, actually, weren't you? Well, I just, I don't I like, like a court where you, where you get a bit more reward for 
width and length. I don't like, personally I don't like hard and fast courts. I find it takes a lot of skill out of the uh, out of the equation. But yep. um, it comes more of an attritional sort of a match. And the thing I like it's about... It's never worked in my favour as fitness. So. Yeah. So yeah, well, you had a huge battle today, so definitely not unfit. But the thing I like about these courts is they don't have like a massive nick. You know what I mean? They, they're quite true um, in straight lines, and I like that a lot. Yeah. And also, I kind of like these tins, first of all, because they're movable, uh, even though that's 19 on there today, not 17, which is another topic we won't, won't get into. Um, I want to see that's a stroke on there, wouldn't you? It was a let ball. It was a let? Yeah, yeah. it was a cheek, just a simple let. Got Heather Finlay on the, on the job upstairs. Or oh, Maisie, Maisie Galloway now. The, uh, yeah. That man comes with a bit of controversy. Over, over who doesn't want it. Oh, yeah. Neither of them wanted to ref. World's easiest match to ref, these two. Yeah, definitely. But no, they're very true courts, and if they hit that 10, you really know about it too, because it's, it's an aluminium turn, isn't it? So that's another, another good know, thing. I don't, I don't hit the 10, Joel. Do you not? <laughs> I yeah. definitely, I, I, I've hit it a few oh, times today, that's great. for sure. Definitely in our match, fucking whacked that a few times, didn't I? Timo seems to be taking it in quite a, yeah. quite a bit here, eh? That's what I mean, I just feel like he's, um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say he was the better player. Just at the moment. Yeah, Louis just trying to feel his way into it. He's in a lot of, a lot of length, hold punching. Doesn't seem to be putting too much in, maybe a couple of straight six corner working both like that but just trying to move Tim around isn't he get some work into his legs oh he's gone all the way around almost the 360 Tim we're trying to narrow back Louis lead 4-6 if you've got any questions send them through Appealing there. Yeah. There he is, a bit like you, John. Is there anything wrong with that one? That he's yeah. appealing? I think he's felt maybe it was a bit of, it was a bit of a top spin, but I think he thought um it was too long on the racket, but it seemed fine to me. But really, Louis is not going short that much, eh? Just hold punching, working that ball around, straight six corner. It's good attritional squash, but it's working for him. 7-4 on his brother. Got the measure so far. Timo a little bit slow off the ball at the moment. And that, that, that's what Louis' game plan is. It's just forcing him to make that, take that risk, really, isn't it? I got a few less people, um, a few less eyes on this one because, unfortunately, I ran the ran this court extremely late with the five setter with Finn Trimble that I just had. Um, I got got a few people tuning in online. Had the whole, it just had to be up. Just had to be up that one. It's good that he played it though, because I don't think he would have got a stroke for it anyway. Yeah, it's good. To, these boys do try and play pretty much everything now. Now, a little bit off topic, but these boys, I know you've got a pair of flippers on you, but these guys both like, I think they have size 14 feet. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely huge <laughs> pair of flippers on them. Um, very hard to play against, I find, when you're around, stuck around the middle. Always getting caught up on them. And there, there's Louis trying to force it. Had five game balls, now he's got four. Ooh. 
Should room be a strike, I think. I'm you think? Sure, yeah. yeah. Argue room to play, no? Nah, loose shot. <laughs> Rubber shot. Couldn't swing without hitting him. Yeah, black and white stuff. It's just unlucky it caught the nick, but... Yeah, it, it, it definitely happens quite a bit on this court, I feel. I why it's um, a player, a player, you know, replay of point. Should be easy, yeah. Tight squash though from the lads. Can Louis close this one out? Oh, great shot. Very well finished. Great shot. Lomba squeezing that first set 11 6. Back in two. Mm -hmm. So one love to Louis, 11 6 in that first one. He, uh, he looks like a bit of a man on a mission. And then he uh, serves a fault straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was down too, to be fair. So I don't know why he's questioning it. Just um, bow your head and. Louis is uh, very prone to that, unfortunately. Yeah. God, absolute shocker. But he is definitely prone to that one. Happens to the best of them, which is nice yeah. to know. Till New Zealand serving out, eh? Yeah, there you go. So if you were in Timmer's corner in that one, after that first set, what, what would you have said? I don't know, I'm not really much of a coach there, to be honest. I, um... Oh, oh that's good. Do more of that. Do more of that, will help. Yeah. Get to 11 first. Yeah, there you go. No, I just think he, um... He, uh, he just started making errors at the crucial crucial points, you know, sort of 5 all, 4 all, or whatever it was. And then Louis just climbed away, so... Yeah, Louis has a very good, um, very good habit at being very hard to beat. Um, said, said this earlier today, but it's a good kind of trait to have as a squash player. Don't necessarily have to be the most technically gifted, but if you're just hard to beat, um, which he very much is, it's a great trait to have. But he's definitely improved a lot his uh, his short game. A good touch at the front of the court. You see there, just like, stepping in, opening a racket face, hole punching. Did a stint in England, which you're familiar with. The old Ponty stint. For those who don't know, that's in um, well out there in the UK. But uh, he's done wonders for his front front game. So for me, I think Timmer's game plan, you know, should be a little bit more assertive because that's naturally how he plays, but just doesn't want to force it, you know. You have to be patient against Lily, and that's bitter. That's his strength, if you ask me, is that low, hard, low, hard drive. Straight six um, corner, yeah. Doesn't even necessarily have to be straight, just low and hard, and um, into a good length, good angle, and um, very hard to read, especially on that forehand side. So. You know, it's a lot of power off out of it, out of it, all areas of the court. And that's not a strength. So it wouldn't be. So I've got a couple of people tuning in here. Paul Ascot, my dad, tuning in, all the way from Brisbane, Australia. Recently, club captain, Stafford Squash. Great club there in Brisbane, six courts, fully stocked gym. But good to have you watching, Dad. Good rally, this. A couple of reverses this tournament, eh? Everyone's, everyone's been playing those reverses. Saying it's a lot earlier, but good squeeze there. Tight. For Chwamba. But you, you fan of a reverse, you, Chris, or? Comes out sometimes without knowing about it. Yeah, so <laughs> this comes off, doesn't it? The more grey hairs I get, the more often yeah. I. Uh, oh, Tim. Uh, uh, 
don't he? He's questioning it. No chance that's not a show. Every day of the week. It's not hard to tell who these lads are sponsored by, eh? I mean, spot the unsquashable logo. Nice. Oh, oh he's on his bike here. He's picked so it up This is where Timo needs to realise. Yeah, I just don't know why they, they question it. Just. Oh, he's pinched the side ball there. It's pretty lucky. But good Louis, pickups from Louis Rui. got there pretty, pretty comfortably in the end. So. Yeah. Louis. Slender lead at 5-3, though, for the Panda. Got to keep his head here, questioning a couple calls, but... Another big rally, this one. Yeah, Sorry, again, boy. another squeeze. The boys seem to be um, getting that ball running very straight today. Nice to watch. Oh, oh wow. He's changed of direction. Didn't see that one at all, did he? So he's holding on to that two point lead, 6 4. Good work there from Louis. Just making Tim play one, one more shot, and uh, paid off there. And I think that's the difference between the level that he's at, at the moment and the next level is the hustle. No, it's just not trying to win the rally on the first opportunity. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. Someone like Louis is a very good retriever. You're never going to win the rally at the first no. good shot you play. Definitely not. And so he can't be afforded to tin it like that because he's trying to. Needs to focus on uh, working the player as opposed to trying to hit a winner. Yeah, I guess they say it's it's like a physical game of chess, isn't it? You know, and um, you can you can manoeuvre. What's he arguing he's, here? He's arguing that Tim was moving off the ball, do dodgy. So it's big flippers, <laughs> big flippers getting in the way. Big flippers, big glutes, big calves, all the above. Tim was not having a bar of it though, eh? But no, you're right, and that, that rally was quite a good example because Louis, you know, picks up three or four balls before, um, you know, managing to actually, well, lose the rally or whatever. And you see that again, 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 when you're, especially when you're playing a better player, it's just so hard to win a point. Bit of squash here from Louis. Same thing, that to be fair, you know. Yeah, he's edging him just slightly. A few errors coming from the racket, the Louis. 8 5 now, Thames. Be good to see him having another battle, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hear that tin singing, can't you? So again, Tim were just kind of forcing it on that back foot. Definitely have it his. Again, a pill on the serve. He's up too. It's just a uh, wee mental fade away. Yeah. You see it again, Everyone again, does again, these, again, these don't things. The, the key is to recognise that he's just switched off for a second and then, and then put a big rally in. Well, you say, like that, that's no good. you say you're not a good coach. You're picking up on it. He's put it back to eight all, but really it's just been gifted to him, hasn't it? Yeah. So he's got to cut that out now. So the, we're at the business end. But Louis just quietly going about his business. That's better from the Thames. A bit more mature squash now. 
I mean, this is when he plays his best squash too, isn't it? It's when he's building, building those rallies and working Louis behind him before, before that opening comes. This is better. Here we go. So again, he's got Louis on the run. Just got to keep hitting his targets. A huge rally. Oh. No lead on that one. Let's see what they say. Uh, matey's doing it. Yeah, there's no lead. There was actually no interference. No, it wasn't. Safety, my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Excuse my French. There's John Duggan just spoken there. <laughs> So no let and Louis yeah, now not gonna now, get an easy one like that. Louis now up nine eight. Pressure's back on the teams here. He was eight five up, so he's lost four points in a row. He's got Louis on the run again. This is better, he's not it's just a bit of a bit of a mental Oh he should have played that. No, it's a strike that. No, it's a strike. That I that's that's tough. I think he's very, very lucky to get a, a straight oh, in my taken opinion. His shins out. If he stepped forward and played it like he does. But he it's because yes. he called a lead, he stopped. <laughs> so nine all huge point here. Big difference between one all and two love, isn't there, Chris? Huge rally here. Neither of the two wanting to really take that ball in. All four corners of the court. Oh, he's gone for it. Yeah, nice. great shot. It's that change of angle, nice low, hard across the body. Tim were having to dive because it's just so hard to get down to those, but ball just too good. So do a gram and another Alma Motel Lodge. Alma Lodge? Alpha. 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 There we Lodge. go. Alpha. No. Nah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's disgusting, but use it. Alpha Lodge legs. Should have said no. Dry. That was probably dry. Tim has taken his time. Must be. Uh... Oh. Are you truly surprised by that? Are you what? <laughs> <laughs> so just used Joel's shower towel to wipe yeah. the floor. Thanks, Tim's. I'm not having a shower now. That is disgusting. Well, yeah. Two referees upstairs. I think they've forgotten the score. Yeah. It's rocket science, you know, counting to eleven. It's pretty tough. Um, national referees. Go easy, Ten nine Joel. game ball. Come no on. No wonder they don't like bloody Come on. you. <laughs> This is just going on, this is just a joke. How much rest? Oh, great boast. Oh. Good counter, nice work. 
really good stuff here on, out in the left leg from the Thames. Yeah, decent fist pump. So it's heating up here. 10 all. Again, bad habit. 10 all and you hit the 10. It's um, a bit disappointing. Well, well said. Very short rally too. Like it wasn't like it was a... Uh, Mm. Yeah, it did really well in that rally before and then forcing it in that one. It's unfortunate. Nice. Yeah, wow, great shot. Nice. I think you'll find Louis just plays those big points of the of the set very well. And he takes the two love lead. With two love to Louis, start of the third. 12 10 in that last one. So it's very, very tight. Um, Timo looked like he was uh, still with the look in his eye, like he was keen to make some inroads. So I think, uh, you know, we might not necessarily be plain sailing for Louis just yet. Sort of tell in the first few rallies, eh? That someone's attitude change after the 90 seconds. Yeah, body language. Body language is huge in squash, you know. Um, but this, this is much better from Ball. Nice. Much better from Lou. I don't think he had a better start in that last set, you know. I know Tim was up 8 5, you know, and then it all kind of turned around and around on him. But, but that first game, Lou was all over him. And uh, it really seemed to drop off a little bit, so he's lucky to kind of pinch that one. I don't even know what shot he was trying to do there. I think he was going for that kind of low kill, but he just waited way too long, didn't he? So another error coming from the racket of Thames. It's unforced too. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, we've seen Time and time again, Tim was kind of had him on the back foot, and then he just goes that little something extra that doesn't really need to be doesn't need to be done, and then Louis really punishing him. So this is better from Tim's, but he just needs to needs to lift. So there's an area he lacks, I think, is lifting. Yeah, definitely yeah, when he's under trouble. pressure, I think he tries to hit his way up as we. As we say it in squash one, terms. One place on the court where your opponent can't hit it and that's above their racket. Oh nice. wow, great shot. Yeah. All over him like a rash in that rally, wasn't he? Just controlled it, hit every corner, moving Tim around and then eventually finishing him off. Again, has him under pressure and makes the error. So he's given a couple of freebies to Louis, as we like to say it. So Louis now with a 4 1 lead and that's the third set. Oh wow. Short on short.
So it seems to have the measure of champs in this th this third set. Yeah, what is it? Six one. One way traffic. Six way, one way traffic, well said. So if you were Timmer right now, what would you do, Chris? Oh, I don't know, I think um yeah. Kitchen sink. Leave it on there. Man, it's good. Louis actually doing quite, quite yeah, well. Wow. He is, Great um, shot. Defending good finish. Well. Um, making it tricky, but there's not really a lot Timo can do at the moment. He's, uh, he's not quite. I think he, he might be lacking a little bit in the sort of his tactics and what he was, how he was trying to play. Just guess that I think one. He's not quite right. Again, another ten off the racket. Bit of scoreboard pressure now sitting in as well. I mean, you just uh, trying to make stuff happen now, don't you? you just, yeah, of course, of course. Get a few points, maybe try to shift the uh, momentum, but got to do something different. Follow through on that, eh? Right? That's where his, uh, he just sort of stops his racket dead. Doof. Just to follow through, point his racket at the front wall when he's finished. Turning into an exhibition, he's yeah. lifting now. Oh, and he's lifting up. really well. Court's opening up a little bit. Look at that. We had, it's almost we had like he's given up and then started lifting when he should yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Kind of lifting it Kinda should be the opposite, shouldn't it? Two nine now. Louis is running away with this. Good boast. Good boast. Wicked boast. Again, that's another shot that Louis added into his game this year. Well over, Another good turn. soft finish, a little bit too good. And that is it ladies and gents. Guess thanks for tuning in for this live stream. Great tournament, good to be back playing. At this, the squash gym, Palmerston North, New Zealand, PSA Satellite. Ron Michalisi, the victor. Three games to love. See you next time.